Okay, now let me go back and to my Visual Studio. I want to load back up that Chapter 3 that we had, the recent project. And I want to show you something that may not be so obvious to you here in the environment here. I want to show you something really, really handy when you have a lot of packages that you want to work with. Okay. If you're dealing with one package like video2.dtsx, copy and paste around the file system is a great way to do it. Okay. Work with it in your SVN, work with it with source control, uh, put it into the, onto the SQL server. I'll show you the package store in a second. But if we have several packages, like I'm just going to make a bunch of different ones here. What if you wanted to copy all of these packages together along with any data sources or data source views that they were dependent upon into a folder so that they would all work from that one folder? Okay, so there's really two scenarios that we're talking about. We're talking about scenario one in which I just want to copy one package and scenario two when I want to copy all packages and any dependencies for the packages so that everything works in the new location. Come up here to the project and you're going to go to the properties and you're going to go build what's called a deployment utility. Okay. So you do you want to create a deployment utility? It defaults to false. You want it to say yes and it's going to put it in the folder BIN deployment and watch what's going to happen. So right now it's set to false. So if we go to bin deployment, what it's talking about here, if we go uh, take a look, uh, it's not here. Um, just go to the project location. The solution folder is under projects uh, under chapter three here. Notice that there is no BIN folder at all here. So here's what you do. You right click and you build and what it's going to do is it's going to create that bin folder. You can see it doing it right there. Then it creates this deployment folder and you can actually see two things in here. One, every one of your DTSX packages as well as your data sources and DSVs, data source views, will be listed here. But also you get the world's longest file extension dot SSIS deployment manifest okay watch what happens if you double click that file it brings up the DTS install dot exe the package installation wizard so we could actually go take a look at the task manager and you can see DTS install is running and what that is it's the package installation wizard and what this will actually do is, let's kind of zoom in here to read this, it's going to deploy SSIS packages. Okay, fancy marketing word. Okay, deploy. What it really means is it's just going to copy to either the file system or it's going to allow you to save them in the MSDB. Okay, it's just a fancy word. Don't get confused by this word package deployment or this word deploy. Okay, so I say next. Where do we want to deploy this? Notice that I get the two choices, file system and SQL Server deployment. Okay, so file system is probably the one you're going to be working with. It's the one I think most people work with on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, the SQL Server deployment option stores it inside of MSDB the MSDB database. We'll take a look at that. We'll, let's go ahead and do the file system deployment. Look at that and we'll come back and take a look at the SQL Server. Okay. So file system is really, really simple and you can tell it to validate the packages to make sure that the package dependencies work and that everything is going to you know, be hunky-dory as they say. So the default location is to store this in the SSIS package store. Okay, look right here. Now I know this is probably a new term, but right there is the S, what we call the SSIS package store. Okay. 
So it's located for my machine in this program files Microsoft SQL Server 10.0 or 100 DTS packages folder. Now it defaults in the package store to creating a folder called my project. Okay, so this is a custom folder that it's going to create and all of my DTS, <coughs> excuse me, SSIS packages will be placed under that hierarchical 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 hierarchy that folder hierarchy <laughs> let's do it like that uh, not sure which one is the right way to say it there so it's going to put it in that folder now I want you to see this okay so I'm actually going to say next let's go to this location first so I'm going to just copy and uh, we'll just go to that location I'll just put up here paste and say go and you can see that that location right now is empty my SSIS package store is empty so my package installation wizard let's say next and it's basically going to copy all of these it was successful and you can see now that it has put my project folder and it has copied all of my DTSX fold, uh, files into the SSIS package store awesome what does that mean? <laughs> what is that going to do for me? All right, well, here's what it's going to do for you. Uh, well, the easiest way to visualize this with, until we get into scheduling jobs or working from other locations, uh, well, I should back out here. <clears throat> I'm used to doing this on my own, so sorry. Start menu. SQL Server 2008 Management Studio. Okay, this is uh, the first time we've really played with the Management Studio and instead of connecting to the database engine I want to connect to integration services Time out. you need to make sure that you understand I'm all on the same machine when I deployed it to the file system I deployed it to the package store on this local machine and I am connecting to the integration services package store or, well, the integration services service on that same machine. Okay, each integration services is going to have a package store. So now, when I'm connected, and you can see the icon here for in, oops, sorry integration services. That's how I know it's integration services, as opposed to the database engine icon looking like this. Uh, you can see the differences in the icons. So here is the. Uh, database engine down here whereas here's the integration when it says file system inside of the integration services that is the SSIS package store SSIS package store that it's showing me and so you see that folder called my project that's simply a folder and if we drill down underneath my project then we can actually see the SSIS packages stored right inside there 